carrot cake. I'm just in from work. I haven't even changed my uniform. I am deciding, listen, I want to put carrot cake on our menu for tomorrow and I wanted you to see just how to make what we're having for dessert. Do you have a sweet tooth? <laughs> or like I said today to somebody, I got a whole sweet mouth. Oh, Lord Jesus. Listen, it ain't easy trying to fight the battle of the candies and the desserts and what have you. I don't like candy. Candy is nothing to me. But a little vegan dessert, nothing like it. Stay with me as we make carrot cake. Yes, vegan style. No dairy products at all. So you already know I don't like grater meat. So I thought I'd bring you in on the tail end of how I'm going to grater my carrots. So I pop them into my blender and I have a Vitamix here. And I simply turn on the lowest. Can you see it? Yes, you can. To grater carrots. I don't I don't enjoy gratering anything. I don't think that I don't think my hands were made for gratering. <laughs> okay, awesome. So this recipe, which is on your screen, calls for two cups of flour and sugar, and you have your recipe, and coconut milk or some kind of plant-based milk oil i'm using cinnamon and ginger and honestly i wish i had some fresh ginger because that would really give it a nice taste a nice kick if you want to say that and of course grated carrots sorry <laughs> oil da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 okay great so my flour is already in my bin and the very last ingredient to go into the bin would be my carrot. Now, I, I'm almost thinking I have enough carrot to make three recipes, but I won't bore you with that. I will just simply get to the recipe. So in my bin, I'm going to put my baking powder, baking soda, salt, cinnamon, ginger, Sugar, All right, and I will put those away. All right, I'm going to raise this and I'm going to let it mix on there just to kind of get it all mixed up in there. And I'm going to grab my next bowl so you can really see what we're doing in our bin, okay. Awesome. So I just have my flour and my other ingredients that you, you saw just now. This recipe is very simple. It's very easy and very straightforward. So we have our oil and our coconut milk. All right. I'm going to get a little water. We have our water, which I took the little water that was the little remnants of the carrots in my blender and I add a little water. All right and I mix on low. Hopefully it doesn't go everywhere. Okay, awesome. All right, my machine says no. All right, let's get some more water down in there. Awesome. And if the machine chooses not to work, guess what? We just use our hands. It has stopped working. Oh, who's going to donate me one? Oh my goodness. How embarrassing. But it's just real life. Hey, some things just don't work. Okay. So, I'm going to lower it and see if the problem is sometimes, you know, things need a little help. It's man made. That's what happens when things are man made, right? All right. Let's try that again. 
pray. Pray. Wow. Almost. <laughs> Almost. Okay. Well, I'm going to pause. I'm going to get that down there. I'm going to just rip it with my hands. Let's just try it one more time. One more time. I'm mad. <laughs> I'm mad. All right. Okay, so let's just get that off of there, and I'm going to do it with my hands. All right. You know, life is just the same. Sometimes things work out, sometimes they don't. But we should never, ever give up. Because just when you think you can't take no more, that's when your breakthrough comes. And I've lived that so often over the years. So my admonition to you is never, ever give up. So my machine doesn't want to work. Guess what? A little elbow grease never hurt, right? Only thing is you can't see. There we go. That's our batter. You can see it. Awesome. So that's our batter. Okay. Okay, good. So then, let's put these away. Let's put those away. So we can have space. And I spoon or cup in, rather, one and a half cups of carrot. It's two, so I need three cups of carrot because I doubled my recipe so that I can have sufficient for my deli for tomorrow's lunch at something better look at that isn't it beautiful look I want you to see I want you to see look. awesome it's pretty got all the vitamin C from the carrot all right and y'all know I want to taste right y'all know right y'all know I'm going to taste that I want to add a little more cinnamon because I doubled the recipe, but I didn't double the cinnamon. All right. Everything else is doubled and I think we will have a perfect recipe very soon. Awesome. Okay. See, that's the consistency you're looking for. You're not looking for a consistency that's runny like a cake. Okay, yep, you don't want cookies either, all right? And um, good, so that's my consistency. And I'm gonna try. Mm. Mm, it's good. So I grab my pan and of course we spray. You can't put anything into the oven unless you do what? Spray. That's empty. Now I know some of you have asked, where do I get these pans from? Uh, my cousin Shelly, she picked them up for me in at Brands Mart, I think it was. I love them. They're very easy to clean and they're really nice. I love it. Okay, great. What size are the pans? Oh, I don't need my glasses to tell you. <laughs> I could just hear somebody asking, what size is that pan? All right. Awesome. Awesome. Look at that. All right. I save some. You know why I save some? Because I'm going to pop it into my little muffin pan. And we have a few muffins for those persons who may not want icing because I'm going to put icing onto the cake. All right. Good stuff. We're going to pop them into our preheated oven, which ain't heated because I forgot and I didn't want to get hot. And when we come back, we're gonna show you how to make our icing. Stay with us, don't go nowhere. Lock that dial. And by now, you know, you would have already subscribed, like, share, and comment. 
Welcome to Something Better Today Cooking Show with Marlene McKinney. Our carrot cake's in the oven and I thought, why not just show you how to make a very simple icing for our carrot cake. So I have about four cups of icing sugar in my bowl and I'm just kind of taking my wire whisk and kind of getting the lumps out a little bit. All right, good. Okay. Just kind of mash it up a little, very simple. Now this requires refrigeration because of the ingredients we're about to put in there. Let me introduce you to what I'm using. This is tofuti cream cheese and this is tofuti sour cream. So I thought if I didn't have enough of this one, I could surely use this because to me, they are quite alike in many ways. Okay, smell it, make sure it's good. And I'm going to put that right in there. That would be probably about, let's say about four ounces. All right. And of course, you know why I'm using this because my machine went on the blink, <laughs> my mixer. So I'm going to just get a rubber scraper and I'm going to whisk away. All right. And already it's taking on such a beautiful, nice and creamy look. I'll show you what it looks like in a minute. All right, good. And I'm gonna put about the same amount in sour cream, all right? And I'm going to put about a teaspoon of vanilla. All right, and there goes the end of my vanilla. All right, and I just kind of mix that like so nothing to it it's very simple and if you wanted to add some butter you can I have some smart balance here but I haven't made up my mind yet if I was going to use it right now I just was I'm just trying I was going to try to do this first and guess what I think I'm going to have to have some more icing sugar all right so I have some more give us a, give me a second Let's see if I can get them. If you hear my dogs are there, the kids in my neighborhood love to tease them. Not good. I beg them, stop teasing my dogs. What's it going to take for them to stop teasing the dogs? I don't wish for them to get bite. I hope that it never happens. You know? Anyway, so we're doing our icing, like I said before. And look at that. Nice and creamy. I'm going to get some more icing sugar. We'll be right back. Okay, so I got another four cups of icing sugar because I don't want it to be so runny. I wanted it to be just a little more stiff than it was. So I decided just to add some more. It's no rocket science in icing sugar and cream cheese. You just kind of want a different flavor than just adding water. That's simple. And for a carrot cake, you want it to be just a little richer and a little healthier. So our tofuti cream cheese and what have you makes it, you know, a little richer and, and, and healthier for us, all right? So now it's at the consistency that I think I like. That's our icing. Awesome. Almost can stand. <laughs> That's a good test of a good icing. While my cake was baking, I was making the icing and then I took a shower and I'm ready for a slice. Are you ready for a slice? Please make it. Let us know how it came out. Comment below, let us know. You know, we wanna hear from you. If we don't hear from you, then we figure, well, you probably don't like the recipe so much. I'm gonna try just a small piece. Very, 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 very small piece. I just want a little bit of the icing. I'm gonna grab some from the plate. Oh my goodness, I'm making a mess. Okay, just a bit. Mmm. <laughs> That's good. Remember, subscribe, like, share, comment. We want to hear from you. Thank you for joining us today. And thank you for being a part of our Something Better Today family. We love you. We love you. We miss you and we hope to hear from you soon. 
Bye-bye. God bless you.